has led to and will lead to even greater poverty, not only in our homes, but in our businesses, Mr yeah. Speaker. Thank you very much. <clears throat> The Honourable Nikki Kay. Mr Speaker, it's great to be part of a fiscally responsible, busy government that's future focused. Um, in the last few months alone, our government has announced half a billion dollars in terms of police. We've announced a new superannuation policy. We're uh, delivering hundreds of millions of dollars in new schools, new role growth classrooms. Um, our education budget has got up 35 per cent uh, since 2008. And you compare this to the opposition. And I think the, the phrase that I would give New Zealanders is, You've got one party of substance, of significant initiatives delivering for New Zealand, compared to superficial cosmetic facelift. And I do want facelift. I want to talk about the deputy leadership of the Labour Party. We lost Annette King, and I want to acknowledge Annette King. She's been a brilliant member of Parliament. She's someone who has huge respect across the House. And we got Jacinda Ardern. Now, I've been based in Auckland Central for eight years. Um, I struggle to name anything that Jacinda has done. Um, secondly, uh, what I can say is um, a great example was when Kevin Haig and I developed um, an adoption law reform bill. We spent a year on that bill. Uh, we put it in the ballot. Jacinda Ardern did a one-line bill uh, telling the Law Commission to write the law for her. On her first day in the job as deputy leader on one of the biggest issues confronting our generation, Generation X and Generation Y, on the issue of superannuation affordability, where was she? She's made a whole lot of statements previously about the importance of raising the age, and Jacinda Ardern was nowhere to be seen. She had cut and run on the biggest issue facing our generation, and that is another example of what is a whole lot of photo ops. Yep, she'll be across every billboard, but she absolutely failed our generation on her first day in the job. Mr Speaker, um, this is a common pattern across the government. Um, from, from our perspective, we're out there announcing hard policies, future focus, predator-free New Zealand, superannuation, looking ahead. Uh, we're incredibly busy in our third term. And then you have this opposition that not only had a very small number of policies before, Andrew Little is across the country trying to erase um, that, that small number of policies that they had. So we heard the other day that he is not going to raise taxes if he becomes Prime Minister. Memo to Andrew Little, you have to form a government on the current numbers that have been the numbers for the last eight years with the Green Party. Uh, so does anyone really out there in New Zealand believe that the Labour Party will not be raising taxes? They used to have a capital gains tax. Where's the capital gains tax on? It's gone. This is a Labour Party that thinks the only way that they can get into government is to totally get rid of all of their policies, uh, make sure that they've got some nice fancy new billboards and some photo ops, compared to a government that is prepared to make the hard decisions, is investing in infrastructure, investing more than a third more in schools. Um, we're doing things in terms of our most vulnerable. We've got more significant investment than ever in terms of social investment. Um, Anne Tolley's doing a great job in terms of some of our most at-risk and vulnerable children. Um, we've got significant reform, as I said before, in law and order. We're going to have um, a whole lot more police on the streets. You've got ACC reductions happening. We took that out of a very difficult situation that we were handed. Um, generally, you've got the situation in terms of the government's books that we were steering down a decade of deficit. Now we are in um, surplus. Um, you've got significant investments happening across social housing, and you've got a Labour Party, the main opposition, uh, who thinks the way that they can win is to have no policy, to have a superficial facelift, um, to have a couple of ex uh, another person on the billboards. Um, and I do want to acknowledge that this election will be fought on some of the big issues for Gen X and Y. And in my view, it is this side of the House that is confronting those issues and that side that is failing. Mr Speaker. Stephen Browning.